A few days ago, I started reading the Coca-Cola Way, the biography of the Coca-Cola Company, written by Mark Pendergrast. Before now, I have always known that as an entrepreneur, what I sell doesn't matter as much as how I sell what I sell. But the Coca-Cola Way comes to show me how correct that statement is. Looking at the history of one of the oldest companies in the world. In today's video, I'll share with you the one important trick every smart entrepreneur uses to build a successful company. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Creating versus Selling Products When it comes to entrepreneurship, most people I know focus on what to sell. I've been asked several times by people who want to start businesses, what business can I start? How do I discover business ideas? What products should I sell? The problem with all these questions is that they focus on what to sell, not how to sell. Smart entrepreneurs know better. For smart entrepreneurs, selling is 90% of the business game. Forget the product. People buy stuff all the time. People buy shit all the time. Now, some people will get me wrong. Don't be one of them. Yes, good products matter but human beings are too weak to use their brains to even know what good means. Let me explain this. In several Coca-Cola vs Pepsi blind tests, Pepsi has been voted to be the best in the mouth. Now, I want to ask you, if most people vote for Pepsi as being the best, why do most people buy Coke? In fact, in the year 1980s, there was a man who wanted to die for Coca-Cola. He claimed to be a worshipper of Coca-Cola and nothing could separate him from Coca-Cola. But when a blind taste test was conducted for him, he chose Pepsi as being the best in his mouth. You get the point? Humans are emotional beings. We don't know what is good or bad except we rely on our emotions, which rarely help us. Knowing this fact is very crucial as an entrepreneur or else you'll fail. Selling your product is more important than building the product. So you better learn how to sell before you think of what to sell. Smart people play on our emotions. Dan Irely wrote a wonderful book titled Predictably Irrational and I think you should start reading that book from tomorrow if you've not read it. In his book, Irely wrote about several psychological studies that revealed how weak humans are. For instance, we tend to believe that if something is expensive, it's valuable. It's valuable. Since Apple phones are expensive, we think they must be the best phones in the world. This is not to say that Apple phones are not good, but are they as good as their price? Take for instance the primary reason why we buy a car is to move from point A to point B. A Toyota Corolla will move you from point A to point B and you can get that for $20,000. But here's a car called Koenigsegg CCXR Trevita, which sells for a whopping $4.8 million. 240 times more expensive than a Toyota car. Does that mean a Koenigsegg car is 240 times more beautiful, faster or better than a Toyota? As Dan Eiley proves, if tomorrow Toyota makes an ordinary car and price it a million dollars, we immediately start seeing how special that car is. Not because it's special but because we're paying a premium for it. The Battle of the Mind Several months ago, my team created a digital product. For whatever reason, just a few weeks before we launched our product, I saw a Facebook advert of a man in my country who happens to be more influential than us promoting a similar concept as we were trying to sell. At the end of the day, we succeeded and smiled for the bank but this guy failed because no one cares about what he was trying to sell. How can that happen? Why will he fail at selling the same concept we sold successfully even though he is in a better position than my team? Selling, selling, selling. When it comes to building a company, the difference between success and failure may be a few words, a few strategies or even a few changes in the color of our branding. Essentially, what I'm preaching here is that as an entrepreneur, you should not stop seeing your job as a battle of products. Instead, it's a battle of the mind, the consumer mind. Every smart entrepreneur knows this and that's why they succeed. Putting life into your product Steve Jobs once said that Apple is not selling boxes and by this, he meant that Apple isn't selling phones or computers. If Apple isn't selling phones or computers, what is Apple selling? Well, Apple is selling emotions and that matters. Apple is selling a movement or even a religion and if you don't think that is what it is, you'll have to explain the reason why millions of people are willing to go into debt 
just to own a new iPhone. I mean, I'm using iPhone 6 and I don't know what else I need in a phone that is not here, even though I bought it as a used phone. But here, we have a new iPhone coming out now. And then everyone is ready to sell their fingers to get one. That's because Apple is a religion. Smart entrepreneurs know how to put life into their products. They know how to build a community that is crazy about what they are selling. And they know how to create a movement. But how do you do all these? First, build a business that's like a calling for you. Asa Candler believed so much in Coca-Cola that he would have died for Coke if need be. And so, he was able to infect every other CEO and most employees after him so much that they were able to infect millions of people all over the world. Even though it's sugar, Coke has been seen as a mystical substance for decades. You may not like Mark Zuckerberg, but he loves social media with all his life. Peter Thiel talked about when he decided to invest in Facebook as one of the first people who invested in the company. He needed to listen to Mark and according to him, Zuckerberg is buried in the world of social media even as a teenager. Build a business that is close to your heart, like a call-in, and you'll be able to get other people to see your business, not just as a product, but as a mission that the world needs. Second, study human nature. Unfortunately, we don't know who we are. We're not the smart, intelligent creatures we tend to think we are. Instead, we're emotional beings who can easily be moved by emotions. Read books about human psychology, selling, and marketing. Don't start a business around building a product. Start a business around selling a product. Robert Kiyosaki said, I'm not the best author. I'm the best selling author. Business is not about the product. It's about selling. Do you know about our inspirational channel? We call it Hunt TV. And we use the channel to inspire people like you who want to do great things with their lives. Look at the description box to see the link to Hunt TV. Join the Hunt TV and we'll give you daily inspiration until you achieve your dreams.